Still on petroleum, the Chief Executive Office of the National Petroleum Authority, Dr. Mustafa Abdul Hamid, has called for collaboration in the downstream petroleum chain to help fight the tampering of sales on tankers and siphoning of fuel from tankers. He warned that anyone found guilty of the act will be punished accordingly. Dr. Mustafa Abdul Hamid, together with heads of departments at the National Petroleum Authority, were in the Ashanti region as part of the atoll of the five regions up north to, among other things, have a first-hand information on operations of agencies under the authority. Interacting with the media in Kumase after touring the bulk oil storage facility and fuel tanker yard at Kase, he noted that despite the installation of sales on licensed tankers to address fuel siphoning, the National Petroleum Authority received more than 15 incidents of sales tampering on a daily basis, a situation he described as worry. The investigative processes have been triggered, and once the investigative processes are complete, and we determine that this was an illegality and so on, then the product is confiscated. Um, sometimes this is done through a court process. Then the court gives the national security and the MPA the authority to auction the product. And that is if it is wholesome. If it is a wholesome product but from illegal source, then we auction it. Sometimes too, we, we give it to our security agencies to help in their work because they also need it sometimes to help us to monitor. Now, away from that, Executive Secretary for the National Service Scheme, or say...